With a steady drumming of mighty diesel engines, an eastbound Montana rail link triumphantly pulls its tonnage over the apex of a mountain pass, just as trains before it have done for 140 years. But this is a railroad in twilight. Since its beginning in 1987, Montana Rail Link has built an incredible following among the rail fan community. Its popularity may be attributed to the railroad's beautiful setting in the Big Sky Country, or its impressive fleet of EMD locomotives. More likely, it is because the Montana Rail Link is unique. Out west, rail fans have basically two choices when it comes to railroads. One is orange, the other is yellow. As the once numerous fallen flags faded into either of those two colors, the black and blue paint scheme adopted by the Washington Company stood out as something different. At least for a while. In early 2022, MRL announced it had reached an agreement with BNSF for an early termination of its 60-year lease of former Northern Pacific track in Montana. Since that time, Seven Idea Productions, along with thousands of other rail fans, have journeyed to Montana for one final look at this beloved regional railroad. This is the final episode of our four-part series and focuses on MRL's second subdivision between Logan and Sperling wrapping up at Laurel Yard, just west of Billings. Trains race through the Gallatin Valley to Bozeman. Negotiate the steep grades of Bozeman Pass with manned helpers out of Livingston. And roll along the scenic Yellowstone River to MRL's busy yard at Laurel. Shot between February of 2022 and June 2023, this is our final salute to one of our favorite railroads. Farewell, MRL, Part 4.